Hi guys, it's time for Love It, Like It, or Leave It. I haven't done one of these in a while and I have quite a few items that I've been trying and seeing what I think of them. And I kind of split the items in half because I'm just gonna have to make it a two video thing. So anyway, here are some of the items that I have been trying, uh, giving them a very good try, trying them in different ways, different situations, and what I think of them. And just because I think something and you it may like if I don't care for it and you love it, that's fine, it's just another opinion. I'm not an expert, just wanna let you know that. It's just me and what I think. So, first I have the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is meant to be used uh, at night while you sleep. If you put this on before bed, let me see if this will ever focus. There we go. This is what it looks like. I've heard so much about it. I thought that I would give this a try. And uh, like I said, what you're supposed to do is just put it on before bed sleep with it all night long, wake up with really soft, supple lips. It comes with a little spatula, which is really adorable. I like that, so you're not dipping your fingers in constantly. And my take on it is that it is very, very good. This truly is a very good lip mask. I am um, personally one of those people that constantly puts lip products on. Um, I like live with chapsticks all over my house and, and different lip products and I have a hair hair so I'm crazy. Okay, um, and that is just sort of me. So my lips never ever get chapped or really dry to begin with. So I don't feel like it made a ginormous difference in my lips, but because I didn't start off with anything very dry. But if your lips are suffering during this weather or whatever, and they are dry, I do feel like this would really work well because it is very, very nurturing. So Laneige, love it. Speaking of lips, I've tried a few other products and I really wanted to try the YSL Matte Stain. Let me see if I can get that to focus. This color is called Secret Beige and I ordered it from just looking at the colors online. And I, this color's a little bright for me personally, but uh, the general idea of it, I can get the idea of and then I will find a color that I like even better. But it is, a it is a beautiful color. I think that I will really like it in spring and summer. It's called Secret Beige. But what I really like is this um, spatula-like um, applicator. It's the strangest looking thing, but it really, really works in getting in the different, um, you know, the different lines. You can use it to, almost to line if you just kind of use it as a, the tip of it and then fills in. And usually you don't even have to re-dip. It's just this whole thing one dip just kind of really does everything you need it to do and as for staining it says eight hours um i don't find that it quite lasts that long but it, it is long lasting you will have to reapply but that takes 10 seconds you will need a mirror because it does stain a little bit but anyway love the applicator more than anything and i'm looking for a different color but just so that you can get an idea this uh, secret beige let's see here there's really nothing beige about it in my opinion it's a it's a corally pink so the YSL matte stain love it I've tried several products from Fenty Beauty and I have been very happy with the ones I have tried however <laughs> I'm not entirely happy with this one this is the uh, it's the Mademoiselle plush matte lipstick and I got it in the color spanked so let me show you I saved the box I tried it twice it just does not work. That's all I tried it because I just didn't want to deal with it any longer. It comes in a smallish type of a really pretty packaging. This kind of a rose gold little um, beautiful little bit. And it just is a twist up lip color. Very pretty color. A little too uh, brick red for me personally. But it's not the color that's the problem. It's just patchy. It goes on your lips really patchy and I couldn't get it to like even out I'd have to take my finger and try to smear it in the places that it didn't work um not a fan and like I said I tried it the first day and thought well maybe I, I did something wrong but it's just not working well for me at all I mean look at that you can even see just in that one swipe it's darker here it's lighter on the edges it's lighter in the middle it's just completely and totally patchy to me so leave it now I have mentioned um, in a couple videos that I found what I consider to be the perfect matte duo for my lips and I wanted to share that with you because I love both of these, especially together but even separate. First of all, I put on, and I'm wearing it right now, and I, I was wearing it in my last video about my Hermes Evelyn bag um, and I had several people ask me what I was wearing on my lips. And this is it, it's my new nude combo that I am loving and it just seems to work perfectly for me. And it is a MAC lip liner in the color Subculture. 
It's just a really nice uh, nudish kind of a, hmm, I wanna say it's a little bit on the corally side of nude. Wow, the lighting, sorry. There we go. And then I put that, I put that all over, I line and fill in with that. And then on top I add the Marc Jacobs Gloss in Skin Deep. Somehow that Skin Deep on top of the subculture, the color is gorgeous, there's a bit of shine. Um, it feels so good on the lips, just absolutely beautiful. It feels wonderful on the lips and I love the color. Pencil in Subculture, love it. Marc Jacobs Gloss in Skin Deep, love it. And put those together and I really love it. What I found recently are these and they are really good. They are the Sally Hansen Instant Insta Dry Nail Colors. The Sally Hansen Insta Dry. See if you can see what that looks like. This is what they look like in the, t in the, in the bottle. And they have many different colors and I've picked up several. I have the color in Cinesnap and I have it in Let's, Let's Jam, which is this color. I think this will be really good. I'm headed to Florida next week. So I am thinking this will be a good color for that. And then I love this color. It is called Buff and Tumble. And this is a perfect nude for me on my hands. So for a simple one step, swipe them on and go, especially this color, because you don't have to be too precise because it's like skin tone for me. Just so good, I can't even tell you enough. So the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Nail Colors. Love it. I've been trying, I always try mascaras all the time. Whenever there's a new one that comes down the road, I always wanna try it. And the last time I talked about mascaras on a video, I had someone recommend this one to me and I thought I'd give it a try. So I picked up the CoverGirl Lash Blast in the orange tube is what she called it. And this is it, I'm sure. Um, it was, she was wondering how it would compare to the Louboutin. The wand is very much the same as it's in that like plasticky type of a, of a wand brush. And I really like that one. This is good. This really is good. Um, my only issue with it is that it stays wet too long for me. Um, I kind of want to put my mascara on and then go on to other things. I'm looking around and I'm blinking and I don't really want to have it like, you know, be wet enough still to make little splots. And so that is exactly what I had happen with this a lot. But in general, if you have the patience to just sort of wait, maybe fan your eyes a little bit because it does take a little longer than usual to dry, in my opinion, at least in my experience. Uh, it is a very good mascara. It doesn't clump. It does make your lashes look naturally pretty um, and fuller and longer. And basically, it's a really, really good mascara, especially for a drugstore brand. You just need to have a little patience when it comes to the drying part. But I would have to say I like it very much. Thank you, Becky. I'm pretty sure it was you that recommended this to me, so thanks. And then another mascara that I have been trying and I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you can see anything, but anyway. Um, it is the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar X Fiber. Now you have a one and a two. So on the first side, you have this. You put this on your eye and I do this and then I go to number two, which is the fiber part, I believe. And this has more of a curved brush. And then I go straight to the number two part and then I just do that same process over on the other eye. I don't know why I do it that way, I, I just do. So you first put on this one, and then I believe this then makes it so that the fibers have something to cling to. You do the number two. And they do, it does lengthen. They look beautiful. They don't look clumpy and, you know, tarantula-like at all. They just look pretty long lengthened and great. And it's a drugstore brand again. I really do like this one. I truly do. And I would have to say that this could even be a love it. It lasts. It does not uh, get all over the place. It dries quickly. It's not a real wet formula, which I appreciate personally. And it wears throughout the day beautifully without flaking and so forth. So very, very good. Love it. I've been trying and hearing a lot about the Kupari Coconut Melt. I got this at Sephora. And it is basically an organic coconut oil. And they just call it hydrate from head to toe. And it is a very uh, finely processed coconut oil. So you, there's nothing extra, nothing added. Um, a beautiful 
I use it on my cuticles more than ever. But it just comes off in little bits and then it immediately melts into your skin into like an oily wonderfulness. It has a very light coconut smell, as coconut oil does. Oh, it just smells amazing and I do love it. My question is, is this worth the price instead of just going to let's say Trader Joe's and getting the best coconut oil in a large container that you can for much, much less expensive. I can't say that it's, I, I have no idea. I can't imagine that it could be that much better. Um, but I really like the container. So anyway, I want to let you know that I do like it as a product, coconut oil in general. I love, I love coconut oil, whether it needs to be this brand or so. I'm not sure. This is very, very nice. Um, Again, it's just coconut oil. Really, really nice, but yeah, you might just get some from Trader Joe's, but there's that, so I, I'd have to say I like it. Okay, I thought I would give a try to the Urban Decay Rebound Collagen Infused Complexion Prep Priming Spray. I'm very into spraying my face a whole lot, apparently. Um, I just seem to really like the feeling of that. Uh, the way this comes, in a bottle, and then you have the two cap option, the big one, and then you also have the smaller one. Basically, I usually just take this smaller one off and then I leave it on my vanity with a large one. So basically, this, I say basically so much, it's collagen infused complexion prep priming spray. So firming, smoothing, and radiance boosting. My first spray of this, I did my normal, like I spray, 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 like I do my uh, setting sprays. I was soaked. <laughs> I mean, it was just like I just walked out of the shower. Um, very, very wet spray. So either spray a little bit further back if you're spraying this or less spritzes um, because this is a much wetter, much more uh, moisture comes out and at you than your normal setting spray. Um, so just keep that in mind if you're used to how much you spray that. So what you're supposed to do is on clean skin, you just spray this before your makeup. You can spritz throughout the day. You can do this before night. Um, it's so wet for me and I'm trying to regulate and just do like a quick little spray and like stick my face in it kind of a thing. But I'm finding that I don't really reach for this first thing in the morning, which I probably should because that's what it's kind of meant for to prep your skin and prime your skin and so forth for the day's makeup and, and things. But what I have been doing more than anything is at night when I have cleaned my face completely and getting ready for bed, I will spritz this and I'll even spritz it on my neck and decollete because it's collagen infused. So I'm sure that the collagen can sink in and do its thing at night and I just slather my, my face creams and things on. So I'm sure it's still doing its job. Um, but if you can take the fact that it's quite a bit wetter and get that to work out for you or have the time to wait to let that sink in before you apply your moisturizer and go on with your makeup, then this would be a great thing for that. But anyway, I will be using this, especially at night, to just give myself a spritz of collagen whenever um, I can. So I'd have to say I like it. Okay, I have been trying the Tarte Hamptons Weekender. I've had a lot of people ask me about this too. I think this is really nice and I think that I will like it even more in the spring and summer. But this is what it looks like, the Hamptons Weekender. It is a good small, um, you know, travel -y, great for travel because you have a contour bronzer color, you have a blush color, and you have a highlighter and you have a mirror. So it's really, really good in those ways. Let me just kind of see if I can get you a better picture of the colors here, better view. So these are all new colors, so it's not the same as anything you've seen in Tarte before. But the bronzer contour, I think for me it's more of a bronzer, is called Farmer's Market. And I just think it's a beautiful, it's a light, a light kind of a color. It's nothing too orangey or you can definitely contour with this. Um, but to me it's just more of a bronze color. I just think that adds enough warmth to your skin that it's just beautiful. The blush is called Summer House. And I'll show you what that looks like. It's just a real pretty, uh, nicely pigmented color that's sort of a, gosh, what do I want to call it? It's a corally, wow, it's hard to explain. A corally rose, if that makes any sense at all. That's how I would explain that blush. It's a beautiful color. And then the Beach Getaway is the highlighter, and this is a gorgeous color. It packs a lot of punch. It's beautiful, but it's not too crazy, but it really does catch the light, and it's a beautiful, beautiful combination. So together, in this tiny little compact, even though they're good-sized pans, 
you get these beautiful, beautiful things and it's great, great, great to travel with. Love it. Two more items that I'm saving my best for last. Um, the next item that I have been working on and trying since a little bit before Christmas is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting. It's the Edit in Volume 3. And this comes in like a rose gold type of a package. And these are beautiful tones. Now, I love Hourglass things. I have a bronzer. I have several blushes. I have a diffuse light. So there are things in here that I already own in the full size. But I love how this is in one container. <laughs> and just perfect. So basically you have a the diffused light here. This is diffused light. And this is a strobing powder in strobe light. This is dim light. Now these two are two of my very favorites anyway. So I love having those smaller ones in this easy to contain um, piece. And then this bronzer is luminous bronze light, which I love. It's a perfect one. This is the blush in surreal halo. And this is a blush in pure effect. And together, I mean, you can even take your brush and go all over the place and just give yourself some color. I many times just put my brush over both of the blushes to do a blush look and then just quickly um, add some highlight and then the diffused and the dim can go all over to just give a blurring effect. Just perfect. So if you're traveling a lot or if you just want your makeup in one spot, this is another one of those really great compacts that just goes everywhere, can be used for many things. So I do really, really, really love this one. It's the volume three. Oops, I just remembered one more item before my favorite. Um, it's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. <laughs> and mine's at number one fair. Again, I've heard so much about this. It does have a mirror. It's just an extra finely milled, beautiful powder. It has some uh, light reflecting bits in there. It just gives you a radiant look. And the, the way that it's just so soft and so light and finely milled, it's just heaven. It just feels like silk. It's just beautiful. So I have really enjoyed this. As a setting powder, it doesn't look powdery on your skin. Um, it does reflect the light a little bit to give you a bit of a glow, but nothing major at all. It just doesn't look powdery. This is an all over setting powder that has enough radiance involved in it that it just doesn't look like a powder on your face, which is, that's what I really, really like about it. You don't look like you've been powdered to pieces. Very, very nice. Love it. And then I'd have to say my very favorite thing, because I am a concealer junkie, anytime I find a new concealer that I just love, I want to shout it from the rooftops. And this is the Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer by Catrice Cosmetics. And I got mine in, the, in porcelain, and it does look very, very light. But I just, I'm telling you, I, it, it covers so well. I'm amazed at how nicely done that is. I mean, I'm old and I have, you know, that crazy baggy yucky stuff. Let's just face it, I do. So I always try to find something that doesn't settle in those lines. I try to find something that just camouflages the fact that, you know, it, it dips in there sometimes with age, you lose that, um, puffier, you know, the good fluffy puffiness and you get a little, you know, that little eye socket dip there. This really does camouflage that. I'm absolutely loving it. It's called liquid camouflage. So basically it's your normal doe foot applicator. Here is what it looks like. If you can even see that with the way the light is. There we go. It goes on beautifully, smoothly. Mostly I use this with a dampened beauty blender. Um, that's how I've been using it most often and just with the pointy end and it just really I pat it I like just kind of press it in Perfect. Um, I've also used a concealer brush with it that works well, too So whatever your normal way of applying it'll work um, It's waterproof now that I've not really you know soaked myself to see but it just lasts and lasts and lasts and it looks nice and it covers and I cannot say enough about it. I mean, this is absolutely right now better than anything I've ever tried in my life. So run, don't walk, um, get yourself some of this. It's really good stuff. I will link it in several places because I had to search several places to find it in stock. I think everyone's trying to get their hands on this. So I will link several places where I've found it myself um, that you can try to find it too. So anyway, love it, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Did I mention I love it? Love it, love it, love it. 
Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, I have quite a few other products that I'm in the process of figuring out and I will be coming on fairly soon with another love it, like it, or leave it. And until then, I will see you soon. Thanks. Bye.